Hot, hot, hot. Hope everybody's enjoying this week. What are we down to right now? It is uh, 712 here in Oklahoma City, and it is 99 degrees, uh, according to my computer. And so, based off of that, we are going to be playing games with uh, heat and hot and fire and summer in the title. I don't know what those games will be yet, but I've decided for a platform we're going to play games from Exodus. We're going to find some DOS games. Uh, and here is the first one I just installed, finished right before this started. This is Heat Wave Offshore Superboat Racing. Looks like it was released uh, by Artec Digital Entertainment. Oh, published by Accolade. Here we go. Accolade in 1990. Let's see what we get here. You guys have to tell me where we are in the game audio. I noticed in some of the streams that game audio has been a little low. But it may be too high now. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Especially with that uh, sweet, sweet uh, MIDI solo. Uh, take your code wheel out. Ah, we're in the world we are now firmly set in the world of 80s and 90s DOS games uh, with uh, <coughs> code wheels. Oh, we've got though right here, though. It says... Note, enter 9,000 and press enter. So someone has already cracked this, so we will do 9,000 and press enter. Uh, let's see if we have a joystick. Uh, we do not. Let's go see what the sponsor's buffet is. Tonight's Bright Castle is brought to you by uh, Heat Wave Design and implemented by oh, Artec Digital Entertainment. You know, uh, before I started doing Sprite Castle, I really didn't realize how many games were, this seems silly, but uh, that they were developed by somebody and then published by somebody else. Like, I thought an Accolade game was an Accolade game. Like, I thought there were five guys working for Accolade sitting in a room cranking out awesome games, but that wasn't the case. Uh, they were made by other companies, and then a lot of times Accolade would just uh, uh, publish them. Let's see. We need sound on. We need joystick on. All right. Joystick uh, center. Joystick upper left. Joystick lower right. Ooh. World detail. High. Boat detail. High. Your host. Hot. No. <laughs> Graphics mode, VGA, high. Frame speed, here we go. Oh, come on now. Joystick's a little touchy. Normal, double, quad. I think we could probably handle quad. I guess we'll find out. All right, let's see here. We got select a course. Uh, whatever is the easiest, that's where I will go. Select a boat. I will take a boat of car. Oh, that's probably not an option here. What do we got here? Look at that sweet, sweet ride. That looks like a... Um, uh, literally something you would buy from the ice cream man. <laughs> Down there. Uh, oh, that's the Don Johnson special. Look at that. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, the cougar cat. Meow. The Top Gun cigarette. I guess that's uh, Marlboro colors there. And the Warlock cat. Yikey. 
Yeah. That's uh I don't know if that if that boat were real, I don't know if it would float the way that the polygons have uh, come together. I feel like I'm a cougar cougar cat dude. All right. Registration. Uh a rookie. Um, how about I'll be, I'll be Flack McBoat. Oh, your boat's name is obviously the Polygon Princess. Let's look at the pit stop. <laughs> it goes, you know what? <laughs> There's no way we can keep doing that, applying the, the, uh, uh models here so we're just going to do wireframe hey tin tin uh we are not on the mister we're running exodus uh tonight my plan this week the problem with uh the mister is that it's hooked up over here to monitors that are over here which means i need another camera which i have another camera but when i plug that camera in the USB bus gets overwhelmed and OBS goes, well, just randomly pick something that won't work. So it'll either be this camera or that camera or the joystick or something. So it's like one, I have one too many USB devices. So uh, my plan, I need to relocate the mister over to this area and set up my splitter to go into this monitor. So that way I can look at the mister here uh, and, and play it. Uh, so that will be, that. that is a project. Um, is there anything I need to add to my boat? Do I have to add all this stuff? Do I have to add a prop? Oh no, do I already have, can I add a prop? Oh, I guess I didn't have a prop. Add the shaft? That seems important. Why would you let me take a boat out without a prop and a shaft? That's stupid. Uh, practice is for... not. That is not for Flack McBoat. Qualification time trials? Ooh, course fly-through. Woo! Still loud? How's that? Uh, this is like um, when my grandma would pick us up and take us to church, which was a 25 mile trip which took four days okay I'm hoping the race is faster than that let's go to the driver's meeting <laughs> look at that <laughs> that's some nice oh my gosh Oh man, these people all look like uh, they all look like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> like they've just been burnt. Oh man. Mm. It's like they took River Raid and we're like, how can we take something that was written on a machine in the late 70s and make it slower? 
and they did it. They accepted the challenge, and they did it. Press enter to start engine. Oh no. What's going on here? Oh, forward, my RPMs are going up. Oh, I am moving. Okay, let's miss that buoy. Oh my gosh. By the way, this is a commercial title. This is uh, a, something that you might have gone to the store and purchased. And then stuck your face in a boat propeller for, for having done that. Uh, I'm hoping that is uh, something I can hit and sink this boat. Whatever that is sticking out of the water, it kind of looks like it might be the Blair Witch. Too bad you didn't qualify for the race. Why Why not? I thought I was going as fast as possible. Um, was I in low gear? Let's try this again. Okay, started. Full throttle. RPMs are going up. What else do I have over there? I have a bilge pump. Do I have like a gear shift on a boat? I'm hitting every button. Function keys. Oh. Distance. Okay, now we got something going on here. Okay. That's supposed to be maybe going in and out. Oh boy. Oh, oh, we're, sp <laughs> we're spinning. <laughs> Oh, I think I got to take my jaws. There's a buoy. Well, no penalties yet, so this must be allowed. Driver. The sense of speed is... Uh... Oh, look, there I am. I kind of like this drive. Look at that. I think. Come on. What is uh I don't seem to be getting closer to anything. My timer's doing okay. Well now I'm getting closer to land. Alright, we're going on shore. Everybody hang on. Buckle up! Oh. <laughs> oh, your boat has been destroyed. <laughs> I did, I drove through it for a few minutes. Okay, maybe if, um, okay, time trial, this is where we need to go. Sometimes you gotta just, um, yeah, so, oh, it makes you do that? 
If I paid forty dollars, I don't want to have to try. Oh, now look at this. Is that a boat? Should I follow this guy? Are we going this way? It seems weird that I would start out and have to make a turn. It's like being stuck in a nightmare. It's like uh, it's like being stuck in the trunk of out uh, outrun and just being forced to breathe the fumes. Oh, I know where this is headed. Okay, we turned. Successful. Oh. <laughs> I like how I just turned into confetti. <sighs> okay. How's everybody doing with that summer heat today? Golly gee. 99 degrees here in Oklahoma and getting hotter with this game. Ah, ha, 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 ha. All right. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what else we got here. Here's a um, I see another one. And we're gonna get another game started here while this is uh, downloading. Let's take us over to the um, winner's circle because I feel like having done all that, we are winners. And you guys are winners for being here tonight on a Thursday night. And I'm a winner for having blown that boat up into tiny little pieces. DOS uh, gaming era was uh, a crazy, wacky time in the out. The uh, It was kind of the Wild West. You never knew what you were going to get. And uh, they were constantly kind of pushing things, you know? So they would say, well, gosh, everybody's got to get, um, <clears throat> you know, you got to get a 3D poly. Everybody's got the, the, the polygons. You're going to have to have a polygon game. Uh, so uh, you would, you would do that. And then you would um, uh, try that. And, and that's what you would get. You'd purchase something that looked like that. I wonder what that sold for. <laughs> 